hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in today's video we're going to talk about how to get free hosting and then you create a website for free so um i have created a free hosting you know um tutorial over here whereby i use um uh, amazon aws to create it but in this video i'm going to show you another free option over here um which is called infinity free we're going to use that to create what a free hosting over here and then we are going to what we're going to create you know our website over over here so um without wasting much time um let's jump into the video now if you are new over here please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button so that anytime we drop a video you'll be able to what you'll be able to get it so let's jump into the video Alright guys, so um, to create our free hosting, we're going to go to Google over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to search for infinity free, okay? So just type in infinity free over here and then it will, you know, the first one that you see over here, infinity free dot net, that is what we are going to uh, talk about, okay? So click on it. Now for those of you who have watched, you know, my 10 um, free websites for all web designers, you realize that I talked about this particular word website over here infinity free how you can be able to use it to create what um, you know free hosting and then also um, install wordpress on it and then use it okay and that is what we're going to do over here so we're going to create um, this infinity free um, you know um, account over here so we're going to create an account and then we use it to what, um, get a free hosting and then we use it to what, create our website so if you enter the infinity free website infinity free dot net you're gonna get this page over here now as you can see um this is the whole page over here. now you don't have to do anything just you see this one it says free web hosting completely free web hosting with php mysql and no ads on your website just click on this one sign up now and then enter your what your email address so i'm going to enter my email address and then you enter your what your password that you want and then repeat the password over here and then just take this one which says i have read and agree to the terms and conditions so click on it and then click on what create new profile so they said the email oh yeah so i think i typed in the wrong email address so this one over here and then let me repeat the um, password again and then i'll click on this one which says i've read and um, agreed and then i would click on what create new profile so as you can see um you know they sent me an email in my what in my uh, in my uh, mailbox i have to just check my email so if i go to my email i can see this one over here which says what infinity free let me just click on it and then it told me to verify my what my email i'm clicking on verify the blue button over there and then my account is what is set so with this one i just need to agree to the what privacy policy and all those things and then it said what um my hosting account i can create three accounts over here so how do i do it i just need to what, click on create an account now so i click on create over here and then do you want to use you know infinity free subdomain or you want to use your own custom domain so if you have your own custom domain that you want to use you can click over here and then you know make sure that you um use the what you change or you point the infinity free name service before you can what you can use it and learn more so you can use your own what domain write it over here check the availability and then you go or what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use what a subdomain over here so i'm going to use the infinity free word subdomain so um, i'm going to use this one over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to just you know use um this this one over here kitechdigital.epz.com um, yeah i just want something simple or you can you know go in check the one that you want but i think this one looks you know simple so i'm going to so if you are writing a love thing you can use what 
loves to blog over here so i'm going to use this one over here and then what i'm going to do is what i'm going to click on check availability check to see if it is what available they said the domain is what available i can go ahead and then what you know name the account and other stuff so um you know i'm just going to say website for kitech and then um username okay normally they generate the username for you and then the account password so you can what you can set up your own what password for the account so i'm going to set this account password for it so make sure that you save it okay and then what i'm going to do is what i'm going to go ahead and then click on create over here okay very good so as you can see my account has been what created and then i can see my username and then all the other what options over there so now i can click on this green button over here to go to the what the control panel they'll give me something to what to approve you can what um, you know read through and then approve so just click on what approve and then your control panel what will load for you so as you can see it is just the c panel that you used to know from those of you who follow me from name chip and other stuff you you get it's the same what c panel okay similar c panel that you used to know so now that we have this one over here what else do we have to do now we scroll down and then we look for what we call what um stuff that close up installer okay so we can what click on this one over here and then what it's going to do is what um is that something what went wrong so let me try again okay so i don't know what is going on but something went wrong so maybe they said i should try in what 20 minutes time so let's hold on and try again in 20 minutes time okay guys so i'm going to try again and then see if um, it still works so i just um, waited for some few minutes and i'm going to try again to see if um, everything is what is working perfectly and of course everything is what working perfectly so make sure that you click on what stufftaculous app installer over here and then you're going to get this um you know stufftaculous apps installer for php and then javascript so for the script that we're going to use we're going to use what wordpress over here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on install and then of course this is the only what um you know domain that we are going to what, install on it so what we will do is what we just you know choose our domain okay so if you have ssl installed on it you can what you can go ahead and then what um you know select it but of course we don't have ssl installed on it so what we're going to do is what um we're going to use this one over here and then we can go through and then we'll set up our what our blog name which is what kitech digital that is our site name we set out the site description maybe um you know wordpress and more okay and then um let me change the wordpress the proper it's proper spellings okay and then you know the admin name you can what you can um, just type in your admin name and then type in your what your password okay so um any password that you want make sure that it is what it is strong okay so you can also what um you know generate the password by clicking on this what this key over here and then they will generate you know a strong password word for you okay but i want my own password so that i can remember anytime i'm going over there so i'm going to what i'm going to hide this one and then type in my password over there okay so now that i have my password which is strong i'm going to use this email as what my admin email and then i'll go down it is the same thing as what as you um, install wordpress using the c panel okay so it is it's everything is the same nothing has changed and then all what i'm going to do is what to click on install to what to install wordpress on my what on my c panel so as you can see it is what it is install installing the wordpress on my on my website for me okay so voila it is installed so now that it is installed what do i need to do i just need to what, click over here to see the website and this is what the website and it said it cannot be rich so let me check and see why it cannot what be rich okay so let me click on this one to see this one too cannot be rich so sometimes it takes um you know s um, some few minutes for um the dns and other stuff to uh, to propagate okay so what you need to do is uh, just you know hold on for some time and then 
you can be able to access your what your website so guys as you can see over here the reason why it's not working be is because now there is a notice over here which says what please note that it can take up to 72 hours for a new domain name or hosting account to start working everywhere so you need to what um have patience and then everything what will start working for you within 72 hours okay so um you can also get free ssl over here by clicking on this one for you to get what the free ssl okay so this is how you can be able to what, get um you know a free hosting and also connect your what your domain to it to be able to what, work for you install wordpress for it to be able to work for you i hope this video will help you for you to be able to what, um you know get your own hosting and then create your own website for yourself okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye